man what up you guys john's moto garage welcome back to the channel man it's been a long time i want to give you guys a little update i've had a handful of people reaching out just making sure i'm still alive making sure i'm still doing okay and thank you uh, to those who have reached out i'm happy to say i'm doing great no issues at all everything's going good can't complain but i did take a break from the youtube from the channel I didn't necessarily like plan on taking a break it just kind of happened and it was a much needed nice little step away so jackie and i for the first time in we're coming up on our 12 year wedding anniversary and we had our first kid on the day of our one year anniversary and so jackie has pretty much always been pregnant and or you know with a pretty young kid or baby Pretty much the entirety of our marriage and so it's been really difficult logistically for her and i to get away you know get out so anyway long story short her and i did an awesome vacation nine ten days we were out of the house that was awesome i've been working a lot more than i have in the past and so that's also kind of <clears throat> made it difficult to ride and additionally, Arizona has been so freaking hot that my motivation and stoke to ride has just been like in the dumps. And so I just haven't been going out and riding much. It's as simple as that. And I've always said with this channel, if I'm not having fun doing it, I'm not going to like force it. And it's not that I wasn't having fun, but it's like nothing was naturally coming about. And so I just, I would go out from time to time, try to do a video and just not have the motivation to follow through with it. And so that's what happened but you know i haven't abandoned i haven't abandoned the channel what do you guys think of these gloves man these are uh, rebel reaper i've had these for a while but i finally broke them out to use them i'm really digging them man but man i could not pick a better day to ride it is such beautiful weather right now freaking awesome i've also been getting back into things like mountain biking Oh, what a freaking blast. I finally picked up a mountain bike, treated myself, and I've been hitting the trails quite a bit. The thing I love about mountain biking is you get the adrenaline, you get the cardio, you get the fun factor. It's like you check all the boxes, and it's great to be doing that again. But no doubt, now that it's getting, uh, now that the weather's getting a lot nicer, I'll definitely be getting out to ride more. Truth be told, I don't know what the future has in store for this channel because I kind of I kind of got tired of doing YouTube the way I was doing it, and I think it took me stepping away to realize. I think I realized like, oh man, I don't really like what I'm doing with the channel. Not all of it, but I, I got sick of the clickbait, sick of the marketing, sick of, of doing videos just for the sake of doing a video. Sick of trying to come up with you know creative ideas for content and stuff like that i just got kind of tired of it and i don't really want to do that anymore at least not that style just always having to come up with something that's it that's the thing with youtube is there are some channels that have done a really great job at just kind of building the channel around their lives and what they're doing anyway and for my channel i feel like that used to kind of be the case i was buying and selling motorcycles i was riding a bunch of different motorcycles like a lot of what i did evolved around motorcycles and so just naturally the content was there i haven't been buying up and selling a lot of bikes recently um i haven't been riding much lately so like i said content was just not naturally showing up i guess you could say and also, like I said, I kind of got sick of the whole trying to come up with ideas, you know, clickbaity type stuff, you know, like, is this the best motorcycle ever? Will this motorcycle change the world? You know, stuff like that. It's just, I don't know. Not up my alley anymore. I don't think it ever was, but YouTube is definitely a game. And, you know, they say, hate the, hate the game, not the player. Well, I definitely came to not really dig the game so much as far as that goes so anyway with all that being said i'm gonna run into i'm gonna run to fries grab some stuff and then i'll, I'll catch you after the fact 
All right, we're back from my shopping excursion. Drop a comment below. What do you think I got from the store? Stay tuned to the very, very, very end, and I will just and I will show you what I got. I do want to dedicate this video to my my cousin Lincoln. Lincoln was a couple years younger than me, and it had been years since we hung out. But back, you know, as kids, we always used to go hang out with them every summer, and this just an awesome dude over an awesome guy and uh, tragically he lost his life in a military training exercise in the last week and obviously hearing that news kind of rocks your world a little bit and of course my heart and condolence my heart goes out to his wife and his kids and my aunt and uncle and my cousins and it's just freaking tragic it, it really is and the last conversation that he and I had he called me out of the blue about two months ago and he was gonna go look at a motorcycle and was asking me some tips on the on you know what to look for and everything i wasn't able to chat long on the first call when i called him back he was actually at the house looking at the motorcycle so he wasn't even really able to chat long uh he wasn't able to stay on the phone for too long and i kept meaning to call him back because i never heard i never got a follow-up on whether or not he bought the bike and i kept meaning to call him back and I really wanted to catch up with him because it had been a super long time and he just, he was always doing something wild. I'm pretty sure he was a Green Beret, or if not, you know, working towards becoming one. And so anyway, to get that news a couple days back, it was, like I said, really, really heartbreaking. Just a terrible tragedy. I'm glad we had that last conversation as insignificant and short as it was and like I said my heart goes out to his family and just one of those reminders you know life is short anyway rest in peace Lincoln Right, you guys well that's gonna do it as promised let me show you what I bought from the grocery store there it is jello cook and serve Jackie makes a mad chocolate pie and she uses this stuff so that's what I got all right you guys John's Moto Garage like and subscribe if you dig it appreciate the support we'll catch you next time adios nos vemos